These are the steps to remove the built-in exhaust fan on the Eon Mira 9 Laser. I've elected to remove mine since I'm using an inline fan and this would just be an obstruction to my airflow and one thing I would need to clean. So the first thing I'm going to do is use my cabinet key to pull off the back panel where the exhaust fan is. The next thing I'm going to do is unhook all of the wiring for the fan. So the ground line for the fan is that third screw in from the left on the ground bar there at the back. So I'm going to unscrew that screw wire off and I'm just going to tighten that screw back down so it's there should I ever decide to install it in the future and just so I don't lose that screw. Then I'm going to remove the before the fan so it's going to be the middle red lever and the middle yellow lever in my case um, and that's conveniently labeled fan. I don't know if all of them are labeled but mine happen to be conveniently labeled and so I've got that all disconnected. At that point I'm going to remove the little jumper a hose that goes from the back of the laser into the inlet side of the fan body. I've got that removed. I'm going to remove the whole fan assembly. So there's four screws that hold the fan motor down to the laser cabinet. The front two are relatively easy to get to. The back two are a little bit more challenging to get to, but you follow them with a, a regular Phillips head screwdriver. Once we get that fully unscrewed, we can go ahead and just pull that whole fan motor assembly out of the back of the cabinet there. So here I'm working on that fourth screw. Sorry that it's a little hard to see, but it's kind of far back there. Once that's removed, we can just pull all of that out of the way. Now that the fan is nice and out of the way, we can go ahead and remove that last little bit of jumper hosing um, to expose the... Um, attachment point for the hose there at the back of the cabinet. That's where I'm going to just hook my uh, exhaust duct up that's connected to my inline fan. So once I have that hooked up into place and routed through my back panel, I'm just going to go ahead and put that back panel back into place uh, and struggle a little bit to get it to fall down into the slots. But once we get that, we're going to lock it back into place and that's how you remove the uh, built-in exhaust fan. So thanks for watching.